Well, I got my first truck when I was three. Drove a hundred thousand miles on my knees. Bought marbles and rocks and thought twice before I hauled the Barbie doll bed for the girl next door. She tried to pay me with a kiss and I began to understand something women like about a pickup man. Well, I turned 16, I saved a few hundred bucks. My first car was a pickup truck. I was cruising the town, and the first girl I seen was Bobby Joe Gentry, the homecoming queen. She flagged me down and climbed up in the cab and said, I never knew you were a pickup man. You could set my truck on fire, run it down a hill, and I still wouldn't trade it for a coupe and deville. I got an eight foot bed that never has to be made. You know, if it weren't for trucks, we wouldn't have tailgates. I met all my wives in traffic jams that just sunk the women like about a pickup man. Well, you could set my truck on fire, run it down a hill, and I still wouldn't trade it for a coupe and deville. I met all my wives in traffic jams that just sunk the women like about a pickup man. your name and where are you from my name is al boogie i'm 37 years old and i'm from louisiana I remember him. as you can tell i am the representation for country music yeehaw yeehaw don't forget about me reba as i was saying <laughs> who's your influences big part of my upbringing was listening to you on the radio all right great uh, Match Made in Heaven. What style of country would you call that, Reba? This style that, that With a capital C country. <laughs> yeah. Country with a capital yeah. C. That's what I grew up with, the strong country. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. 90s honky-tonk. Yeah. I'm a big fan already. We're going to have a Thank blast. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Uh, you were here last year, no? Well, a little bit more of me was here last year. I've actually lost about 50 pounds since I was here. Oh, so. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's so cool. The minute you started speaking, I was like, I recognize that voice. You know, I recognized yours as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy for you because I was thinking I'm going to go, then she went. Uh -huh. I was like, well, <laughs> that'll be a waste of time. Um, <laughs> what I would love is just to add some of your grit to make it feel more passionate. Sound like you own those lyrics, if you know what I mean. The boss permits, you got it. <laughs> oh, I like the you queen, all right. the queen. <laughs> Country. It's a genre that, like, I've been learning, obviously, for the last eight years since I've been with Blake, but... Intimately learning. Intimately learning, yes. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> your voice, when you speak, has so much character. And in the song, it did as well, but I was maybe looking for a little bit more character at the right times. So then when Reba pressed, I was like, oh my gosh, Gwen, you don't even know what you're talking about. And then it was over, and here we are. Yeah. You know how... I would just be curious in the future, you know, what kind of songs you and Reba would mm -hmm. pick that would show a little bit more dynamic, a little bit more range in the future. But sure. the future is here because you have a chance to do that with Reba now, so that's very exciting. Awesome. Would you like some pots? I hope you're hungry. I love Al's voice because I love 90s country music, the best. And he represented us well. He's got a great voice. This is my wife, Stacy. She's, uh, she's actually my health coach. Oh, your health coach. Oh, wonderful. We're going to have such fun. Let's get it. Bye bye. Thank Good you, Mama Reba. Thank you, Mama Reba. Love that. There she is. He called me Mama Reba. Mama Reba. Love that.